Okay, so uh, this is from Benjamin Ross. Is this a gift? It is a gift. Benjamin Ross, you magnificent bastard. Now he did. Um, oh, where's the? Oh, good. He gave us some other gifts. Do you want them before or after we try the whiskey? How many gifts are we trying? One. Well, one for each of us. Ooh. Uh, after the whiskey. Let's pour the whiskey first. Ugh. Patience. Why titillate me so? Patience, patience. Uh, all he said was he loves whiskey, cigars. He can't smoke cigars anymore, but he does, in fact, love whiskeys, and he's glad. He did say, uh, Daniel, you are no actor, <laughs> but you do possess impressive song skills. <laughs> Uh, and please don't stop telling those long, drawn-out stories about how the pet at this one distillery was responsible for the marriage of the other two, who then had a kid who saved this other guy's life in the war to help him create the barrels for the whiskeys you're talking about. The bored look on Rex's face is worth it. <laughs> you good? Rex, may mooching be changed to Rexing. <laughs> and may we all live the hashtag Rex life. <laughs> He's the Whiskey Rex. Yeah. Don't invite him to the party. Right? Now, he did say, this is a Minnesota whiskey, and in his experience, Minnesota whiskeys are for shit. Okay. But he thinks these guys are interesting. Mm hmm And I'll tell you a little bit about what they're doing, even though I worked my ass off trying to figure out what the hell was in this damn bottle, and I just can't figure it out. Even on their own website, you click on their whiskeys and it says, oh yeah, we make whiskeys, essentially. Mm. And we put it in barrels and stuff, and we're really serious about it. Small batches, big stories. Ah. Inspired by the personalities that unite our twin sitters comes Millers and blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Where's the big story? Let's just say... Hey, uh, small batch, I want the story. Yeah, let's just say that... A big story, not a Daniel story. A big story. This is an example of being able to write an entire label on a whole website full of text without actually saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's heritage and delicious and great and grand yeah. and fun and... All of which mean nothing. Spirits and discover in Minnesota. Oh, and it's crafted. A, and it's a closely guarded recipe. Well... What I want to know is who's guarding it. But man, on the nose, it smells really nice. We're shitting on them for like... We're, not, we're just giving them backyard hard time. We're, for not having a great story on the bottle, maybe on the website. It does smell kind of nice and fruity. It does smell nice, though. Okay, so this is uh, Joe Mugley, Ron Olney, and Jason Shunman. Shunman is uh, the head brewer at Steel Toe Brewing. Okay. And what he's doing is Jason is in charge of making the mash and fermenting everything. And then he gets it to, to them to distill it. I like this. Uh, on the nose, man, th for me, this is a really nice, and I'm, let me finish. Don't open your damn mouth. Let me finish. Let I'm going to let you finish. God. But <laughs> for me, this is a really nice sweet whiskey, and I say that with an asterisk because it's a sweet whiskey that takes me right up to the brink of how sweet I want a whiskey to be, and that doesn't go farther than that. It's honey, uh, apple, and just straight up sugar, but not overbearing with any of the sweetness there. And I like the nose still. Uh, okay, it's 40%. That's why this is so freaking smooth. Yeah. This is batch one. They have other spirits too. And it turns out they're aging the barrels and uh, aging the whiskey in barrels that their family owns a cooperage. All right, let me, let me and they're making their own barrels. Let me say this. Sip two got much more tame. 40% alcohol. Yeah, man. sip one is like, oh, it's lively and vibrant, and I got all these different forms of sweetness. Sip, uh, it lost like 40% of what was going on after it acclimated. Uh, I will tell you, um, I'm more and more convinced that 46 is the sweet spot for most whiskeys. 46? 46. I see 43 a lot. Mm hmm. She flung dung. <laughs> you didn't read the name, did you? You just copied and pasted. You really did. It's right there. She flung down. It really is right there. Yeah. Dude, this is an Irish whiskey. Irish? Yeah. I'm not getting the, the, the iconic biscuit note there. No, there's one Alporia that's reminding me of. Sometimes I'm convinced you're a genius and other times full of <laughs> You smell tea with half a cube of sugar? Half a cube? Yeah. <laughs> Do I sense skepticism? Did you say half a cube? Mm-hmm. On this, just the smell, not the taste. Yeah, it's close on the smell. You see what I mean? But, let me tell, let me say this. But you, this is much more complex. You filthy, filthy f***ing animal. Let me say this. Oh, okay. 
the difference between these two on the nose. What was the whiskeys that we were having a, a knockdown drag out? The Glen Breton mm, and the Sexton. Yeah. The, there's no more difference between these than the Glen Breton and the Sexton. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'm just saying it's headed the direction of Irish whiskey, not an American whiskey that I'm used to. Yeah. There's no sour note or young. It, even though it's probably young, it doesn't taste overly young. It tastes overly thin, but it doesn't taste overly young. I'm betting they put this in a barrel. If I wanted something sweet, at a lower proof. If I wanted something sweet, I would go go for this and not have a, not a, not think twice about it. I'm betting this is a lower proof entry to the barrel. Okay. New authority. Hey guys, should I ask you what that means? I don't really care. Hey guys, Not if you don't care. Love the show and have been following for about seven months now. Mm. Since I have been watching, I have seen a few bottle down ceremonies and was wondering how it got started. You guys are awesome and keep doing yeah the great work. Because we are getting a lot of new people who are like, why the, what the hell is yeah, it's we, raining men? We really get five. What is that all about? There's only forty five thousand new people since that became a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was we decided we needed a bottle down ceremony to yeah. commemorate an empty bottle, and we decided we should hum a song, and completely at random, either you or I said, how about it's raining men? And so we did it as a joke. And then and we even on. danced. And then that was it. That was it forever. So everybody in the Be tribe. Be careful what you joke about. Everybody in the tribe, <laughs> if you're on the Facebook group, anytime somebody finishes a bottle, you will see a picture of the bottle down. Yeah. And then raining men memes all throughout yeah, the Yeah, just like 50 raining men memes. <laughs> and it's always the same guys will post the exact same gif right. every time. It's the go to. <laughs> it's, it's the go to. I love it. Tradition. All right. Tradition. Max Tradition. Phillips. Max Phillips. I'm glad you had a happy moment. Home rectifying has now become my new indoor winter sport. The whole thing started with accidentally grabbing a glass used the night before and absentmindedly pouring a teeling atop an Isla smoke bomb. Mm. The taste was a big surprise. I thought I picked up the wrong bottle, then I smiled. All those westerns I watched when I was a kid, when the guy asked for a whiskey and a dirty glass, he was just hoping someone had been drinking something better than his drink <laughs> to give it a little something extra. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's a good thought, man. Yeah, I but like remember, that. home blending is a thing, and it's fun, and you can create some really interesting flavor profiles. Yes. Yeah. And it's not illegal like home distilling. Dude, we've got like 10 missed shots laying on the ground over there. Uh, who has 10 missed shots? Like, you. I haven't thrown a single one. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be cleaning those up real soon. Uh, yeah, because you always stay behind to clean up the vault <laughs> when we're done. You don't leave with all of the detritus <laughs> everywhere behind you with a five-ounce glass of whiskey going, all right, I'll see you later. I've got to get this card to Chad. That's why I'm leaving. Tommy. Can't stand around. <laughs> Can't wait. You, you mentioned presents. Yes. Oh, I did. This is yours. It's a thing here. It's a broke, broke. And I actually threw the thing away. So I can't remember. Oh, sweet. Magnificent bastard. Hashtag Rex life. Dude. <laughs> look at this. Love it, man. This is a cigar what? holder Ooh. on one oh. side and nice. a flask on the other side. No. Oh, dude. So. You need to give me some cigars to put in here. They're all down in my office. And actually, I don't carry cigars that are that thin. I will crunch it in. <laughs> then you just light it in there. And just... <laughs> just huffing it up. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. And engraved. Yes, yes, yes. That's cool, man. Hashtag Rick's Life. What does yours say? Mine says Daniel W. <laughs> S super fun. At least it wasn't David. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> All right, we came in on a laugh because Chad had to cut something out. Yeah, up. sorry. If, if you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below. 